Hey Siri, stop. Welcome back to another episode of Who the Fuck. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts announced for Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Antaros. They're a band from London. They're an indie band from London. If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, Who the fuck are Antaros? Anta Ross are made up of four members, Laura, Josh, Harry and Jackson, cool name. They're from London, in the United Kingdom, if you didn't know. Genre wise, I'll be completely honest guys, this one here, Anta Ross, it's actually written by my girlfriend. She, um, she's been very ill, so I just wanted something to do, so I said, why don't you write a video for me and save me some work? And she's done a pretty good job, so if you don't like this, then blame her, but you will probably like it more than mine which is not great. I've just realised as well that there's a there's a back page to this, which is absolutely brilliant. Genre-wise, they're described as pop, electro-pop, 70s new wave. I would also chuck in indie pop there as well. I think they've got that kind of fickle friend sound to them, which Lauren has also mentioned in the, in the, in the thing here. She also says that they sound like, um, she also mentioned, that they sound like Miley Cyrus. Spin in the circles in the bar, spin round in the bar. Especially the vocals, and I think they're quite right. The Pretenders. Back on the, train. the Killers. Lissy. And Fickle Friends. You are someone, you are someone else. I would just add in Lady Hawk because we were talking about Lady Hawk the other day. She's obviously quite big here, but she does not get the credit she deserves. And I think that there's a similar kind of feel to some of her music. My Delirium, what a record. They formed in 2014 in London, and they're named after the Greek god of love. Their recent album was named Album of the Weekend by Jack Saunders of Radio 1. He's the host of the indie show. Josh from the band is also from Reading, so we're looking at a hometown hero set at this stage. Jackson's from Stockport, Laura's from Spain. Not sure about Harry, sorry mate. Some other interesting facts about them, they are big on plastic wastage, or big on not having plastic wastage. They talked about that in their recent interview about Annie Mack. They were talking about people just using things for the sake of it. I remember listening to that interview and thinking, I like where your head's at, but some of it was inaccurate, I think. I should go back and listen to it. They also take puppies on tour with them, which is just absolutely adorable. Um, I don't blame them for that one bit. I would, If I had a puppy and I was touring, I'd definitely take it with me. And they have th only 13,000 followers on their Instagram. They're still a pretty small band. So if you like this, go and follow them and let's get that bigger for them. Not that this is gonna have much of an impact or like 25 people that watch this video. <laughs> if you're one of those, I love you. They released their debut EP entitled Antaros in 2015. They then released their next EP entitled Breakfast in 2016, which would feature the song Antaros. They should have released the song Antaros by the band Antaros on the EP called Antaros. I would like that. Well, we love They then released their third EP in 2017 entitled Drunk and they released their debut album Where We Land this year in 2019. Their most popular song is the track Drunk. Currently sat on 224,000 views on YouTube and they've previously been on tour with bands like Blind Haven, Two Door Cinema Club and White Lies. That's where I've seen them. That's where I've seen them. I saw them support White Lies. We'll go into that in a second. This is their second time playing Reading and Leeds. The first time was in 2016 when they took to the Festival Royal Public Stage, sharing the day with Rationale, Blind Haven, Lost Under Heaven, Pulled Apart by Horses, and Maximo Park. This year, they're back to play the Radio 1 stage again, uh, so the Festival Royal Public Stage again on the Sunday at Reading, Friday at Leeds. They're playing in between Cave Town and Himalayas. WTF video for Himalayas is on the way. I think it's the Sunday after next. You know, I, I think they're a really cool band. I've actually, um, I remember going and seeing them live. So, I moved to London on March the 1st, 2017, and got tickets to see White Lies on March the 2nd in Portsmouth. So I remember driving home to go, and uh, the day we after we moved in, I went and drove to Portsmouth to go see White Lies, and they were supported by this band called 
Antaros, and I remember them playing the song Antaros and going and thinking it was absolutely brilliant. I added it to my library and I listened to it lots around that time. So my memories of it are walking to and from work in early cold March in London. So um, I've been following them for a couple of years. I think they're a really cool band. I think the single they released this year for their album was really cool. Their biggest current problem is that it looks like they might be clashing with the Amazons. And that new Amazons album is absolute fire. I absolutely love it. So there's no way on this planet I'm missing that set. But I think it's also worth noting that the Festival Republic um, stage has more acts on it during the day because their sets aren't as long. So I'm hoping that actually I won't miss it at all and that it will uh, it will be in a nice gap between the Amazons and Frank Carter or the Distillers. But if they're not clashing with anyone, and I really hope that's not the ca and I really hope that's the case, I could really see myself going and checking out their set. So on the Lolly C scale, I'm going to go with a seven out of ten. What do you think? Have you seen them perform before? I love it when you go and discover, discover a band when they're supporting someone. I think that's really great. It only ha ever happens a few times. I'm trying to think of other examples, but I can't. What are your examples of bands that you've seen support that have gone on to do really big things? Catfish and the Bottle Men is a good one. I saw them support Little Comets in Bath. And now look at them. I'd love to know what you have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.